Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review, and today's review is of these Lego silicone trays. These silicone trays come in a pack of three, and they retail for about 10 US dollars on ETSY.com. Here's their store here, and here's the trays. You can use these trays for many things, such as jello, candy, silly ice cubes, is what they call them, chocolates, soaps, as well as crayons. I've done chocolates, and that video about me doing the chocolates is in the cards there. As I mentioned, I did the chocolates, and here are the chocolate trays that I've done. Again, they're quite messy because I just, I haven't washed them yet, and I literally just got finished doing that video to do this video. But here are the molds, and they all work really well, and here are the chocolates that they made. I did a little bit of each mold just to sample them out, and here they are. As a disclaimer for this entire video, right now I'm filming this in my LEGO studio and the lights are really hot, therefore it's melting the chocolate really, really fast so I cannot handle the chocolate or pick off all the edges on the chocolate to make them look a little better just because it is so hot in my studio right now, the chocolate is melting really, really fast. So that's why it looks like these chocolates aren't presentable, I guess you could say. Here are what the chocolates look like from the green mold. They turned out really quite well, and in the green mold, you got to make one really, really big minifigure, as well as you got to make that smaller minifigure. And here's a quick little size comparison. As you can see, the one minifigure is about the exact same height as the, a normal minifigure, and this minifigure is quite a bit larger. And here's what the blue mold makes. These are quite a bit smaller minifigures, and again, it's on a little tilt just because it's really hard to keep chocolate standing up. But here's what it looks like in comparison to another minifigure. As you can see, that minifigure is a bit taller and just bigger all around. And here's what the mold from the yellow tray looks like. This is a really cool 2x4 brick, and I really like it. It looks just like a 2x4 brick that you would find at LEGO. It is quite a bit larger, though, in comparison to a real 2x4 brick. Another thing to mention, it is super easy to remove the chocolates from these trays. All you have to do is turn the trays upside down, and with both fingers, both thumbs, you just push in on the tray, and the chocolates pop right out. If you want to see me removing all the chocolates from these trays, check out the how to make the chocolate videos and in that video I show you. One thing is these are not official LEGO molds. LEGO doesn't really sell molds except one very similar to this one that are official quote unquote LEGO minifigures. But here in Canada they sell these molds for $5 a mold, yet you can buy all three molds, three that LEGO doesn't even, two of LEGO doesn't even make for the price of just buying two Lego molds from the store. So I highly recommend you buy these just because you get more variety as well as they look. Like, you can't even tell that that's not an official quote unquote Lego chocolate. Like, it looks perfect. I am very happy with these trays. They look really good. The chocolate looks awesome, which is not related to the trays, but the trays just make very good Lego chocolates and I'm thrilled with, the, with what they look like. If you really want to get fancy with these trays, on their ETSY shop, they show a variety of different things that they've used the trays for. And if you want to make some Lego chocolates, Lego uh, jello, Lego ice cubes, Lego crayons, just pick up a set on the ETSY shop. The link to that will be down in the description below. As well, as if you use the code BRICKLOVER18 when you're ordering before July 31st, you will save 20% on those trays, which is a really good deal. And it's just another reason why you should buy these trays now. Especially because you know you want Lego chocolates. You just know you do. However, I do actually have one of these blue trays extra. So I'm going to give it away. If you want to win this blue tray, all you have to do is comment down below what you are going to use this blue tray for. Whether it be chocolates, crayons, ice cubes, let me know down in the comments below and I will pick one lucky winner on July 26th. So that is about 10 days from filming this to enter. Just all you have to do is comment what you want to use this tray for down below. Thanks everybody so much for watching a review of these silicone trays. I really enjoy using these trays to make these chocolates. They turned out very well. They were very easy to make and they just, they look fantastic. Thanks everybody for watching this review. Don't forget to check the cards for a whole video on how I made these chocolates. And of course, don't forget to check out their shop on ETSY Wink. Here is a mold as well as they don't just have Lego molds. They have several other silicone molds to make things like that. 
thank you so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more Brick Lover 18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this Brick Lover 18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.